Now to your real-time forecast, Tim. We have more warm weather and possibly storms. That's right. We've got a steamy start to the week coming up next week. To, that's tomorrow. We've got a warm week overall all the way through, looks like, next weekend. So if you like it hot, this is good news for you. A humid night and a muggy Monday for us. We can see those dew points stay in the very uncomfortable range, upper 60s, low 70s. Scattered storms, as you mentioned, Jim, tomorrow. Some of these could be strong with some heavy downpours and maybe some gusty winds, even some hail with some of those, too. And above-average temperatures all the way through the 4th of July. So we'll end June on a warm note will start off July pretty warm as well. No more warm this evening. 79 degrees at O'Hare, 76 degrees in Midway, a little cooler up in Waukegan, 69 degrees there, 74 degrees out towards Aurora. Dew points very high for most of us, especially south and west of the city, low 70s, so it's really uncomfortable there. Low 60s as you get closer to the lakefront at O'Hare and also Midway, so it's making it feel like the 80s still for some of us. Feels like 80 degrees up in McHenry, and it feels like the 80s well south and west of the city out towards Ottawa as well this evening. We've got a mix of clouds and uh, seeing a little bit of stars through the breaks in the clouds here and there this evening. We were looking for maybe an isolated shower thunderstorm to pop up. It looks like the chances that have diminished. I think the atmosphere has settled down a little bit, so we'll just see partly cloudy skies overnight tonight. Most of the action tonight staying well to the north and west. But ingredients coming together for maybe a couple scattered strong storms for us. Our precipitation uh, tracker, this is the rainfall that we expect between uh, tomorrow all the way through tomorrow night into early Tuesday morning. Could be looking at upwards up to two or three inches of rain in some spots because these storms will be kind of moving slowly and erratically when they do form tomorrow, jet stream is not going to push them on through very quickly, so they could dump some heavy rains. And as the storms collapse, a lot of rain cooled air could come rushing out of them and it could produce some damaging winds. That's tomorrow afternoon. But temperatures tonight get down to around 70. Tomorrow's high temperatures top out near 90. Looks like a little bit cooler along the lakefront and mid 80s, or maybe even a few upper 80s for us, looks like too on Tuesday. But the combination of heat and humidity tomorrow making it feel like the mid to upper 90s. 69 for the low for us tonight with partly cloudy skies. Only the slightest chance for an isolated shower thunderstorm tonight. Better chance tomorrow, especially late morning towards midday. Looks like 90 degrees for the high force tomorrow. Scattered storms. Some of those could be strong. Look for those to develop around 11 o'clock tomorrow morning, maybe near noon. And then 89 for the high force on Tuesday. Um, just a few scattered storms. And in general, fewer of them Wednesday, Thursday, and Friday. Many dry hours here. I know you see a lot of lightning flashing. I mean, it doesn't look like it's going to be a rain out near 90 degrees all the way through Friday. And for the fourth, just a few scattered storms and a high up to 87 degrees. More of the same for us on Sundays. Looks like summer is here and it's here to stay, at least for the next several days, Jeff. Yes, it is, Tim. Thank you.